Sidebars are an integral part of a website as they allow you to present additional information to your visitors, entice them to take a specific action, or even enhance the e-commerce experience with filters and more. Bloxy makes managing sidebars a breeze, and Bloxy Pro gives you superpowers with the ability to create custom sidebar sets and assign them to specific parts of the website. We'll check out how to enable the sidebar for pages, posts and post archives, and WooCommerce pages. We'll also check out the Bloxy Pro multiple sidebars extension. Let's get started with the customizer. The pages section from the customizer lets you enable the sidebar for the standard pages that you have created. There are two layout options with the sidebar on either the left or right side, which you can select here. Similarly, single posts also benefit from the same layout choices for the sidebar. For post archives, navigate to the blog post pane of the customizer. As post archives do not support the same normal or narrow layout of standard pages, the sidebar option can be found at the bottom of the list under its own menu. Once the option has been activated, you can dive deeper into the menu to select which side it is displayed on. One more little note that we like to make here is that custom post types benefit from the same options that standard posts have, so support is built in already. Continuing with the WooCommerce parts, the single product pages have identical layout options as standard pages and posts, with the sidebar layout available on the left or right part of the page. And WooCommerce product archives share the same sidebar options as standard post archive pages. So far, pretty simple, right? Before we move on, let's take a little detour onto the general sidebar settings, which can be found under the main sidebar pane of the customizer. Here, you can configure the general look and feel of the sidebar. To start, you have four designs available at your fingertips. The first one is a classic implementation where widgets are shown on the page as they are. The second choice lets you encapsulate the sidebar into a nice container with a background color, visually separating the design from your content. The third choice lets you differentiate the sidebar with a simple separator line between the content and itself, while the fourth choice lets you have a background color applied to the entire side of the page where the sidebar resides. Moving on, we get layout controls. The first option lets you select how wide the sidebar will be, an option that is expressed in a percentage of the entire page width. The sidebar gap option lets you select how much padding the content will have compared to the sidebar. The widgets vertical spacing option will let you decide how much space is added in between each block added to the sidebar. Next up, the sticky sidebar feature lets you stick your sidebar contents to the viewport of the browser. This is very useful in case your sidebar has information that you like to present your visitors at all times and your contents are longer than it. Last but not least, you get the sidebar visibility options, letting you select on which device types the sidebar shows up. In case mobile devices are selected, you can also choose if the sidebar will sit before the contents of the page or after. Great, we're done with the customizer. It's now time to check out the multiple sidebars extension as well as the main widgets view from WordPress. To find the multiple sidebars extension, go to the Bloxy pane, choose Extensions, find the extension and toggle it on. Now navigate to Appearance, Widgets. As you can see here, you have multiple widget areas which you can fill with the blocks that you want. In the free version of Bloxy, the main sidebar area is shared across all pages, posts, and custom post types, while the WooCommerce pages have their own WooCommerce sidebar area. Other widget areas are used throughout the theme, such as the header or footer. For Bloxy Pro users, we introduced an innovative way to create separate sidebar sets and assign them to the pages that you want. Start at the top by giving your new widget area name and clicking on the Create Sidebar button. Once that's done, you will see a new blank widget area has been created that is ready to be populated with any block combination. For demonstration purposes, we'll add a simple block here that's different from the other sidebars. After you have added the blocks that you want, it's time to assign this new sidebar set to the pages that you want. To do this, click the little cog icon. The familiar Bloxy Conditional Manager opens, letting you define on what parts of the site the sidebar will apply to. To continue our demonstration, we'll pick the entire website. If you require more information about the Conditional Manager, we recommend checking out the documentation 
or video tutorial pages of our website. Don't forget to save your changes. And sure enough, if we navigate to the main website, we see the new sidebar set has been applied to the pages that we have selected. Isn't that just awesome? Sidebar management has never been easier. And with Boxy Pro, you get even more choices to design the website of your dreams. A little information on the site makes for the perfect layout. And if you wish to learn more about what Bloxy2 has to offer, continue on to our website or click on one of our other videos to keep watching.